In a kidnapping, gang rape and murder case, the Supreme Court has acquitted the main accused. The three-judge bench held that the prosecution had to bring home the charges level against the accused beyond reasonable doubt and the prosecution failed to do so which left the court with no alternative but to acquit the accused. The evidence with regard to the arrest of the accused, their identification, discoveries and recoveries of the incriminating articles, identity of the indica car, the seizures and sealing of the articles and collection of samples, the medical and scientific evidence, the report of DNA profiling, the evidence with regard to the CDRs etc. were not proved by the prosecution by leading cogent clinching and clear evidence, much less unerringly pointing to the guilt of the accused. There are also many other glaring lapses which occurred during the course of the trial. Out of the 49 witnesses examined by the prosecution, 10 material witnesses were not cross-examined and many other important witnesses were not adequately cross-examined by the defense counsel. The court acquitted the accused and also held that in view of section 357A of the CRPC, the family members of the deceased victim would be entitled to compensation.